The event, which was graced by the high and mighty within and outside the country, witnessed some special speeches. Former President Tolusha Guobasanjo, wartime head of state, retired General Yakubu Gowan, and former head of state Abdul Salam Abubakar praised Good Luck Jonathan for conceding the fate and writing his name on gold at a time when many were anticipating that Nigeria would erupt in a post election crisis. And I understood that uh, the president, his uh, members of his party, and government, some of them were telling him he should resist and should not accept uh, the result. He should not accept the result. But he went ahead and said, well, if all of you say you won't, as far as I'm concerned, it is my responsibility because I do not want any Nigerian to die, uh, you know, on my account. And of course, that was what you did. Mr. President, Jonathan, if you have learned this book three years ago, you wouldn't have uh, mastered the, uh, mastered the uh, crowd that you have mastered today. That is all. So, <clears throat> now, the post office life, which you are now enjoying, is a life that we should all crave for. This is the kind of caring leadership that exemplifies Dr. Goodluck Jonathan. And it was indeed a pleasure and rewarding experience working with him. I learned a lot from him. He is my teacher, always. President of Syria loan, Enes Bai Koroma, and former ECOWAS Secretary General, Mohammed bin Chambas, also praised Goodluck Jonathan for his action. He was a genuine man. President Goodluck, if you know him, is a quintessential gentleman. He's a man of his word. And when you meet him, his body chemistry, there's just something very genuine and real about him. So with those assurances, I think many fears were allayed. In you, we have an example of what Nigeria should be. In you, we have a person that is not only modest, but a person who respects democracy and human rights. This occasion is a happy moment for us. It will send a great signal to the wider world. Good luck, Ebele. Jonathan is a man of peace. He loves everyone. He had faith in Nigerians. He fasted throughout his time with peoples of all faiths, Muslims and Christians. And you can see the diversity of people here today across the political divide. That's not to be taken for granted. Senate President Bukola Saraki, PDP presidential candidate Atiku Abubakar, and other speakers tax politicians to learn from the good intentions of Good Luck Jonathan as the nation prepares for the 2019 general elections. But as we celebrate it, as we all read the book, we all learn lessons from the book. And the lessons we will learn is that you have taken our democracy to a certain level and we must not ever let it go down beyond that level. That we have been fortunate enough to have had a president who followed the footsteps of the president produced by the People's Democratic Party in this country. In other words, his action or his reaction in the 2015 elections, as has been said here, helped to consolidate our democracy. But for that singular action, only God knows where I would have been today. Those who chose not to do what you did today are not being celebrated. 
As a matter of fact, if they were to throw an event like this, nobody will even attempt. And I guess the high point would be the events in Cote d'Ivoire involving Lauren Bagbo. And we all know where he is presently, where history has cons consigned him to. And that is lessons to those who will not want to follow this dignity, this legacy of honor and dignity that you have established as a standard for a democracy. High point of the event was the unveiling of the book titled My Transition As and the Courting of the Former President's Birthday Cake. Catherine Eyemese, ITV News, Abuja.